And can you explain what happened yesterday after your echidna? Uh, or what you felt? I just felt his anxiety in the way he was moving. He was rough, he didn't have any smoothness to it. Well, yeah. I felt it was quite jarring. Yeah. I just okay. like to feel him relax a bit more. In yeah. So he was cup, his cup was full yeah. and his cup fills up quickly with the canner work. Yeah. Because we're not getting the relaxation by cantering him. We're going to do it through transitions and bring him back to a gate that he can relax in. Lots of transitions within the steering. So slow down and then you take your energy right down and walk, give. Okay, so it's lots of preparing, especially for your downward transitions. How soft can you get him to, to trot? Slow the trot down first, slow it down, slow it down, and then think walk in your body. Sit, nice. Horses get faster, people get a little tighter, which then causes the horse to get even faster. Slow, yes, yeah, slow it all down. He's thinking left, you can ask him to canter, but don't over cue him. That was nice. That was a big improvement from yesterday. A huge improvement. Yeah. You know, his anxiety was up, but you were also up. Yeah. And then you were over cueing in canter, he sort of jumping into the canter. And then, because he would jump into the canter, yeah. then you were grabbing him a little bit. And then he was getting more worried. Yeah. And then they'd go, oh, and then you're tight, they're tight practice lots and lots of transitions. So try not to um, rub him too much when he's yawning because you'll interrupt it. Okay. See this here? Yeah. yeah, that's big. So tense yesterday. Okay, so now you can just slowly walk off with him.